The same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any rule or authority or power or leader or anyone else in this world or in the world to come. The Bible says that you were raised with Christ. The Bible says you are seated in Christ in heavenly places. What's that mean? When he sat down, that's a sign. My work is complete. He sat down in his victory. And you are sitting down in the victory of Christ. You are seated in Christ, in his victory. That's who you are. You are ruling and reigning in Christ right now. It doesn't matter how you see yourself. The reason you don't see yourself that way is because you haven't meditated in the scriptures. Now then. And God has put all things under the authority of Christ. Say all things. And gave Christ this authority. Now hold on to your seat. And gave Christ this authority for the benefit of the church. You see, for, for our, Jesus Christ, or Christ sitting in heaven on the right hand of God, was fine. He is the creator of all things. He didn't come to the earth and live on the earth and die on the earth for his benefit. None of that was for his benefit. He has all authority in heaven as the creator. But he rose from the dead and received all authority as a man. As a man. For your benefit, for my benefit. For the church. And it's his authority. Notice that. And God has put all things on the authority of Christ and gave him this authority. So that's the authority of Christ is Christ's authority. It's not mine. It's his. I have a right to it because I'm in covenant with him. See, God gave all authority to the first Adam and the first Adam sinned, and so all humanity lost that authority. And God has given all authority to the new Adam, the second Adam, 1 Corinthians 15. And thank God, that authority is secure because he will never fail. So you will always have authority. Christ did not do any of that for himself. Satan was man's Lord. Satan was man's God. Therefore, victory equals time meditating in these scriptures. Time meditation in these scriptures equals victory. Jesus said in John 6, 63, it is the Holy Spirit who gives life like the resurrection of Christ. Holy Spirit gives the life. And Jesus said, my words are spirit and they're life. He's saying, my words are Holy Spirit and my words are life. So, as we meditate in the word, the life of the word enters us and carries us to victory. As we move into the end times, the church will rise up and walk in these victories. Perilous times are coming, exposure, exposure to danger. It's coming. But Jesus is coming back, according to the Word of God, for a glorious church. The glory that raised Christ from the dead will be seen manifest in the church. He's coming back for a church that is glorious, operating in the supernatural power and wisdom of God, operating by following the cloud and acting on the word. Amen. Jesus didn't say, I'm coming back for a bunch of whoops who can't make it. He didn't say, I'm coming back for a bunch of whoops that have been defeated and conquered. He said, he's coming back for a glorious church. That's who you are. 
Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.